hey guys thanks for tuning in if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel that will be much appreciated this is just a demonstration of uh, how a power system consisting of five bus bus system can be drawn or represented so this is for students doing um, a design project requiring requiring them to uh, draw and uh, study the layout of a particular power system network consisting of uh, five bus bars so uh, these have been drawn already this is um, a circuit a network that's have been taken out of a giant uh, network map so i'm just going to quickly show here what actually is going on here so we can have here a uh, location one so we have uh, this a symbol that show here this is a symbol of a power station so it could be a nuclear power plant or it could be um what what do you have um a thermal power plant anything or a wind turbine power plant or hydroelectric so now this power plant here is supplying a uh, hundred mva that mega volt ampere so basically uh, there is a sc uh, that's uh, meaning short circuit so basically that's a magnitude of a short circuit mva you can get if you have to get a fault here now the system at the first bus bar here is is supplying 132 kilovolt so that's the the highest potential in this bus bar so we name this as location one from the grid now we got switches here so basically isolators so this this one here this can be a representation of a substation so we are getting power from the grid and it go into a switching system from the from the substations and from there we have the output that's also going now out via our circuit breakers and isolators now you have a distance that is traveling so uh, the distance here we say from location one to this location two this location two which is bus bar two of the system so this is bus bar one and this is bus bar two now from here to here we got a total distance of 4.5 kilometer uh, using a cable system now the cable name here is bear which is rated at about 650 amps now you can locate this cable and other specification from a table that's got all the references because basically you since this is a cable this is a network so uh, you will have an impedance that is uh, um, embedded in the cable so using that table of reference you can replace this reference here with a uh, an impedance and that will help you to determine what will be the the short circuit current at this point because now the current have traveled from here up to here so there is a small drop here because of the impedance of the line so that's what you can do now you move to bus bar 2 which is location 2 you still have a 132 kilovolt also from the grid now because we haven't got any transformer on the substation this is just a switching substation there is no transformer stepping to a different level now from there you will have basically the same system but it's a different bus bar which is basically moved to a different location so for instance we move from a power station we went over the mountain or over a small bush or something to a new uh, a substation that is now going to switch to a different location now from this substation here as we can see there are two transformers here t1 and t2 with uh, two circuit breakers now these you can see these transformers are stepping down from the 132 to 11 kilovolt now this could be a, a remote location a small town so the small town will have a small 
a substation constructed to exact power from the 132 to a low level substation to get to 11 kilovolt for distribution. So that is bus bar 2. Now we're moving on to go to bus bar 3, which shows here location 3. Now, from bus bar 2 to bus bar 3, we also have a line. We got the, a cable system, also 4.7 kilometer kilometer of length, also 650 amps of uh, uh, rated cap uh, capacity. So basically, it's the same cable we are using from bus bar 1 to 2, also using from bus bar 2 to bus bar 3. Now, so you will use the same uh, references you use there to implement it here to replace this cable with uh, an impedance value. Remember, it's an impedance, not a resistance. So there will be a resistive element or there will be an inductive element into the cable. Together, that will give you an impedance with the power factor, whether it's a lagging or leading power factor, but you you, you go decide what you get there. But uh, um, I'll give you a hint, it's going to be a lagging power factor because it will be an inductance, inductive reactance. Okay. So um, then you go to bus bar 3. Now bus bar 3 is now going to be a level switching, a, a stepping down. Because now we have two transformers, ATMV transformer. Now remember it's very important the capacity of the transformer. Like here we got a 20 MV transformer which means this location here. You cannot switch something, you cannot power something that's going to draw more than 20 MVA. You're going to explode, explode your transformers. So if you have a small city here, make sure your city can only take up to 20. Not even get there, but around 15. If your city start expanding, getting bigger factories and school, you must change these transformers. So that's basically why we have these transformers here are 80 MVA. They are big. Because if you look at it from this ATM via transformers, we are going to supply an entire system down here, which are separated by two different locations. Also, remember that the system overall is supplying only 100 MVA. So you have to remember that the system is supplying 100 MVA. So you're not going to have a transformer that is rated more than what the substation is actually outputting. So moving on from bus bar 3, we have a transformer and into bus bar. No, that's bus bar 1, that's 2, that's 3. This is bus bar 4. Now, now the, the system have been stepped down into a 66 kilovolt. So we move from a 132 kilovolt to 66 kilovolt. So these substations here is a stepping down substation and we have our switching here isolators and so this is just a representation we can literally have, this is an entire substation there are circuit breakers in there there are uh, surge arresters there's all sort of things there that need to be in in a substation to ensure that there is protection of the power system now from this substation we also have a location that is also taking power from there uh, that's equipped with the two step down transformers that's stepping down to also 11 kV also rated at 20 MVA then we move from there from this bus bar 4 substation 4 and to the last bus bar 5 of the system and we're still transporting, the power system is still sending a 66 kilovolt through the line. Now, notice now we have a different cable that is used here. Now, we the cable references now, they are not giving us the, 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 the amperage, the, the, the rated current of the cable. They are now giving us the area of the cable, which is 3 times 700 and 10 millimeter square now still using the table of reference you can use this uh, area the value of the area to approximate to get the, the the equivalent impedance 
and then multiply that impedance which which the impedance that the table will give you will be per kilometer so you have to multiply it um, to the number of kilometer which is 2.8 kilometers here now remember this is three that means it's a three phase it's a three phase uh, system okay um, then we move on from there after you replace the impedance there you'll have a different short circuit current here then you come to bus bar number five um, okay this is a mistake here it shouldn't be 132 kilovolt that's a typo it is a 66 kilovolt because we're coming from a 80 the transformer 3 and 4 that are stepping down from the 132 to a 66 kilovolt so this bus bar is entire line here is 66 kilovolt right here it shows location 4 66 kilovolt so this is your last bus bar basically your last substation you have your circuit breaker, you will have your relays, you will have everything set up there. You can see these are your current transformers that are monitoring the amount of current going in through here. So if the current exceeds, it's going to trip the circuit, send a signal to circuit breaker. That is an entire um, lecture uh, tutorial we're going to make to explain how this system works. So basically that is it. Um, you have now these uh, transformers here rated at 40 MVA supplying into this location. And from there you have an entire system. Now you can provide a protection system, a downstream protection system that will be all the way up to uh, the power system connection. Remember if you use IDMT relays, you have to set up your discrimination so that every circuit breakers and IDMT used uh, along all these bus bar the time the total time must not be more than two seconds because otherwise that will be too much to allow a short circuit current to last it's going to destroy the the power system so that's how the, the things are set up but we're going to go deeper on that in the, probably the coming tutorial so that is basically how a five bus bar system is done this is just an overview but yeah a lot of things can still be said about this okay thank you for watching all right thanks guys for watching if you like the content please subscribe like and share for others and uh, hit the bell because there will be more tutorial like this coming your way